What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. A ton of news leaked over the weekend. I'm really surprised because usually weekends are pretty slow. I mean, there might be a few interesting things here and there, but it could easily be compiled in like a Monday, Tuesday type video. But um, not the case here. However, if you're already on SneakerFiles.com, then this is kind of late to you guys. Also, Man, I want to just say thank you to everybody because we finally hit 46,000 subscribers. That's insane. I didn't even think that would happen, and it's going at a great pace. I'm super happy. Uh, almost to 50K, so uh, these likes you guys give on the video, that helps so much. You guys really does, and I can't thank you enough. If you guys keep doing it, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, another thing I wanted to bring up. Be on the lookout around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. Uh, there's going to be a video that goes live that you're not going to want to miss. Trust me on that. Now, without wasting too much of your time and blabbing too much, let's jump into the news. For the Andrew Wiggins fans, Adidas Basketball is releasing a new pair of the Crazy Explosive Low dressed in collegiate navy, matte gold, and blue. They also feature Wiggins' logo on the tongue and insole. They're set to drop on March 4, 2017 at select Adidas Basketball retailers for a retail price of $120. Air Max fans will have a ton of pairs to choose from during March. One of the pairs is the OG Obsidian returning, however with a twist. This is the Nike Air Max 1 Ultra 2.0 Flyknit, and they're dressed in white, wolf gray, and obsidian. Now, they have started to release at Nike sports or retailers overseas like Hannon. It seems like Jordan brand started a trend with the Air Jordan 1 Rare Air High. And what I mean by that is they dropped the first one with a set release date. And moving forward, pretty much everyone is just going to drop at a random time. Here we have the Air Jordan 1 High Rare Air in sore blue. Now they are hitting Jordan brand retailers now. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a review on these. I might in the future. But you can grab them at Rock City Kicks for a retail price of 140 each year, Jordan Brand offers a postseason model of their athlete's signature shoe, and here is Chris Paul's, known as the CP310AE. Now look, I'm a fan of Chris Paul on the court, and for the most part, I'm a fan of his signature shoe. I think they perform pretty damn well. However, looks-wise, this looks like absolute trash. I don't know what Jordan Brand was thinking with this. They do feature performance move and uppers. If that's what you're into but other than that as you can see they're also dressed in dark gray definite 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 pass i don't think there's a colorway that can help this model at least in my opinion nike basketball recently released a new edition of the nike kd9 exclusively for kids this is known as the roar from the floor i'm not gonna sit here and act like i know where the inspiration came from i don't even think nike announced it however they do feature obsidian paramount blue polarized blue and max orange they're available now at nike.com for 125. Last week we showcased a new Adidas and Pharrell model, a part of the Human Race series. They feature a similar look to the Stan Smith, however it still hasn't been confirmed. New images did leak, so I did want to share that with you. They don't look so bad, um, as you can see though they don't feature Boost, which is a first for the HU series. Now here is something I'm excited for and I'm sure there's a ton of others as well. This is the Nike Air Max 1 OG Anniversary Pack. Not only will this celebrate Air Max Day, but it also celebrates the 30th anniversary of the Nike Air Max 1. Two original colorways are returning, one features University Red, the other is in Game Royal. Now from an early look it appears that they're both going to come with OG style packages. Now the University Red drops on March 4, 2017 for a retail price of $140, while the Game Royal pair drops on March 11, 2017 and will also cost you $140. You might remember back in 2016, Nike Sportswear allowed people to vote for the next big Air Max release on Air Max Day. And the outcome is the Nike Air Max 1 Atmos Elephant. Nike has unveiled official images of the shoe, which looks like a recreation from the original drop back in 2006. Now, a retail price isn't available. They're going to drop March 26, 2017. I'm not sure how limited they're going to be, but I'm pretty sure they're going to sell out first day, if not within the first 20 minutes. More in Jordan brand news. Well, not really news per se, but it's more along the lines of new images. 
which everybody can appreciate I'm sure. Here is the Air Jordan 7 Pantone aka University Blue. Now they're set to drop April 29, 2017. Retail price is 190 Shown is the kids edition for those that didn't know, yes they're dropping in GS sizes. Back in 2001, Jordan Brand released the Air Jordan 11 Low Columbia. Now, in 2017, they're going to drop the same shoe. It looks identical. However, they're calling it University Blue now. And they're going to release on April 15, 2017 for a retail price of $175. Now, I'm probably not telling you anything new, but I'm just going to share this because this is a new segment and we have some new images. So, here is a look at all of them. I'm sure everybody, once again, can appreciate new looks. A new set of images have surfaced of the Air Jordan 5 Red Suede. Now the reason I'm showcasing this is because our previous batch of images kind of showed that the red was a little bit dull, not as vibrant. And here, as you can see, they're pretty damn bright. So for those that do like the Raging Bull, it's somewhat similar to the release as far as the color use, not the actual color blocking. Uh, red runs through the midsole. People are, you know, on the fence about that, but Here's another look, 3M on the tongue, still dropping July 1st, 2017 for 190 Nothing has changed on the release front. Who remembers the Air Jordan 4 Pure Money? Well, they're returning once again on May 13th, 2017 for 190 Now this isn't new news by any means. If you guys have been up on sneakerfiles.com, you already know, or any of the other websites, that this information leaked some time ago. However, new images have landed, giving us a better look. And as you can see, damn, these are super, super clean. Feature all white with a little, little, little bit of chrome. All right, everybody, so that recaps the news from the weekend. Now, if you're already up on sneakerfiles.com, then this information is pretty much late and you're already ahead of the game. Um, but damn, there was a lot of news that broke over the weekend. New images, uh, new, just new info, all that good stuff. And that's a good weekend for me, at least. And... From this video, you know, the Air Jordan 5 Red Suede is looking a lot better to me personally. The Atmos Elephant, man, I really, really, really need those. I don't know how I'm going to get them. I'm going to have to pull some strings. Um, other than that, I mean, man, those CP3s are ugly as hell. Uh, damn, Jordan Brand, why? And I'm a fan of the CP3 line. I don't know what they're doing there. Either way, leave a comment below. Let me know from the video what you're feeling, what you think they should just not release at all. Also remember, be on the lookout about 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the new video. You're not going to want to miss that. Trust me on that. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.